I am uh, here with uh, Ayush Khandelwa, intern at Amazon, and he has offers from one of the top organizations, Goldman, and uh, he also have offer from Baiju too. What do you think is common between all of them, or what do you think? That Amazon ke under this thing is completely different. What uh, is not asked in other companies which are not fang level? Hi guys, myself Karthik Mathur. I am uh, here with uh, Ayush Khandelwa. So he is currently doing intern at Amazon, and he has offers from one of the top organizations such as Goldman, and uh, he also have offer from Baiju too. So uh, congratulations, Ayush, for uh, uh, being an intern at Amazon. Thank you. And uh, I would welcome you to the coding blog stream. So okay, Ayush. So this is something Amazon is something which is a dream company for almost every IT aspirant. जो भी उसके अंदर जाना चाहते हैं कंपनी के सपने देखते हैं तो Amazon होता है. So आपने अपनी जो basically uh, coding की journey start करी थी. How did it started? कैसे start हुई थी coding journey आपकी? Okay. So in my first year, uh, I used to play a lot of table tennis. Okay. Uh, and in my team like there is a senior named kunal so he uh, take a course from coding blocks so he suggested me uh, why don't you try coding like since you are from ec branch and like uh, in our college uh, mostly csc companies allow ec as well so you should start co- uh, like coding as well from this year now only so i started coding in my second year mostly okay. uh, that time but uh, since i don't have much idea so There was a course C++ concept that I take. Uh, it was taught by Pratik Bhaiya. Uh, I did that uh, to get good hold on C++ and data structures. Uh, after that, in third year, uh, when lockdown started, uh, so that's the time when I actually started putting real efforts into it because I didn't get any internship during that time in my third year. So then I realized, I, okay, so I need to put extra efforts because just doing the courses isn't enough. So that's the time I started like doing lead code aggressively, panel research aggressively, and yeah, I spent most of my time third year because it's completely locked down, so we didn't have to attend extra classes. Okay. So yeah. So okay. So when your coding journey started, since everything was online, so just one thing, like when you actually started to code, were you completely a beginner or you had some idea about programming? Uh, maybe you did something in your 11th, 12th class, uh, or whenever, uh, uh, whenever someone starts uh, to code, it is very tough to get over the topics such as recursion and then moving on towards those advanced data structures such as trees, graph, tries, hash map. So, कभी ऐसा हुआ that you feel कि यार ये तो बड़ा मुश्किल जा रहा है और demotivating सा लग रहा है? So ex- exactly. Uh, so I think ये सबके साथ ही होता है. Whenever we start. so like when i started i felt like coding is not for me okay. i should give up really okay. because uh, i remember when in my initial uh, like the first subject that i have was c++ and data structures so i got d and c grade in this in those subjects okay. so yeah i remember i was pretty bad at coding uh, so when like i the thing that i found is ki when i started really putting the efforts now like they are all overwhelming there's no doubt in that like graphs dp they are really overwhelming in the start But once you start recognizing the pattern, like you know, okay, uh, once you do uh, like certain number of problems, now it really becomes smooth. So you know, you see a problem, you know, okay, I know what what to do in this. So yeah, like it comes with experience. Yeah. So that uh, that is something which I think uh, many students likes to know. कि अच्छा इन्होंने जब start किया था तो इनको भी होती थी क्या दिक्कत? इनको भी ये परेशानी होती थी अब देखो मेन थिंग इज दैट लाइक यू डेड योर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एल गॉड दम्स पार्ट इन सेकेंड ईयर And uh, your placements would be in, I think, third year. जब खत्म होगा fourth year के starting में. So exactly. how did you manage? जो बीच का time होता है उसके अंदर data structures and algorithms भूलना is something which is very common. अगर कुछ सीखा और दो महीने नहीं पढ़ाई करी तो भूल जाओगे. So what was your strategy in order to prepare yourself and in order to improve yourself in DSA? Okay. So one thing that I really followed is uh, being a part of good community. Okay. So what happened is like uh, in my second year i uh, just uh, i was just going by the course so there i made some good friends uh, mm-hmm. like in the discussion forum okay. and after in, in third year i joined a website name is binary search okay and what uh, what the thing is like 
this website has a really good community uh, where you guys can code in a single room okay so what uh, happened is like we started giving contest together uh, we used to discuss after the contest okay. we started practicing new doing time bound rooms okay. and like uh do uh, we stopped preparing dsa for uh, interviews and we started doing it for fun like okay. i remember i do, i started doing dsa complete all day okay. uh like we used to complete uh, like we used to uh, compete like which one is going to complete the contest first okay. like about ranks and also it it turned into pretty fun like my complete third year the only thing that he focused was on like uh, getting good ranks in contest and all we like uh, Like I started preparing for placement at the end of my third year, okay. but in my complete third year, I didn't prepare for placements at okay. all. Like we just wanted to, uh, like all our friend group was just wanted to be in good at DSA, like in the extreme topics like DP, computer programming, uh, graphs, segmentaries, and all. Okay, so you did that competitive programming part as well, and you did that data structures part as well. So how much weightage do you think? Uh, is given to competitive programming in the interviews of fang level organizations or do you think if someone is uh, through with data structures and they have done some standard problems it would be good for them so uh, i think uh, one should have a really good understanding of all the subjects like uh, uh, i never did any kind of sheets and all so like The thing is कि इंटरव्यू में कुछ भी आपसे पूछ सकता है लाइक दे डोंट हैव एनी कंस्टेंट की उनको सिर्फ इसी शीट से पूछना है सो वी शुड बी प्रिपेयर फॉर द वर्स्ट सो लाइक आई आई थिंक वन शुड रियली गो विद द सब्जेक्ट लाइक ऑल द टॉपिक्स टिल द डेप्थ बट लाइक द मेन लाइक द थिंग इज कि मोस्टली इंटरव्यूअर्स जस्ट स्टे टिल लाइक बी बिलो डी पी ओनली लाइक ओनली प्लीज ग्राफ्स बिकॉज दे रियली आर लाइक द इम्पोर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग लाइक यू नीड टू बी गुड एट रिगर्स एंड ट्रीज स्टैक्स क्यूज लिंक बिकॉज in actual software industry they are also used yeah. so mostly for most of the industries they only check till this level but like if you are tipping for fang level like in my interview for goldman sachs and amazon in both of them they asked me dp and actually in goldman sachs they asked me graph as well okay uh, in saber i was also asked a graph uh, pfs vectoring question so like uh, in good companies they do ask like till till the depth like they want to check if you have basic understanding i remember in amazon i was asked to implement complete heap with the linked list like with class wise implementation of like it was a question regarding merging the merging uh, linked lists and i uh, the actually merging, it's a lead code hard question merging uh, two sorted linked lists merging two yeah. sorted linked list merge case sorted linked list acha merge case sorted linked list okay that would yeah. use heap i guess yeah and yeah. They, they asked me to implement heap as well okay so yeah so like okay. so basically the data, data structures is the crucial part and uh, if uh, a student is stuck for the medium and the hard level problems on lead code if they practice that would be more than enough right for exactly. cracking the interviews so mm-hmm. now you have uh, appeared for byju seb uh, you have done goldman sachs you have done amazon what do you think is common between all of them or what do you think ki amazon ke andar this thing is completely different what uh, is not asked in other companies which are not fang level so uh, one thing that i found at amazon is like in all other companies uh, they all discuss about my projects okay. uh, my fundamentals computer fundamentals and all but amazon only focused on dsa okay. on bo- like uh, internship have only two rounds interns so and all of our rounds all, all the rounds were totally dependent on dsa only okay बाकी में प्रोजेक्ट्स वगैरह भी थे सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली डू यू थिंक हाउ जैसे आप वेटेज आप बोल रहे हो कि भाई दूसरों में प्रोजेक्ट्स पूछे गए हाउ मच वेटेज डू यू थिंक दे गिव टू दोस पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट्स और हाउ मच वेटेज डू यू थिंक डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स वाले चीज़ों पे ज़्यादा इंटरव्यू फोकस था या डेवलपमेंट के प्रोजेक्ट्स पे चीज़ों पर फोकस था सो लाइक द थिंग इज आई आई डोंट है वेरी गुड प्रोजेक्ट्स आई हैव मीडियम प्रोजेक्ट्स सो what i in my case what i found is like the like i one thing is ki like you can lead the interview the way you want hmm. if you are good in project you can lead your interview in projects if you are good in dsa you can keep them in dsa hmm. so in my case most of our rounds were totally inclined by dsa and like very little about projects so okay. in my case what i found is like 80% dsa and 20 to 30% uh, combining uh, projects as well as computer fundamentals yeah okay okay so now just uh, uh, one thing which would uh, मतलब बहुत सारे लोगों का क्वेश्चन भी होगा ये अमेजोन का जो इंटरव्यू हुआ था द इंटरव्यू दैट यू गेव यू वेंट थ्रू द प्लेसमेंट ड्राइव व्हाट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस डिड दे आस्क यू डू यू रिमेंबर दोज क्वेश्चंस कि क्या क्या पूछा गया था 
uh, actually it's was 6 months back so i don't remember the exact questions okay but uh, i remember in amazon it was uh, like medium to hard but mostly towards the medium side okay. there was only one single hard question that i told much case hotel english okay. in goldman sachs uh, i was asked dp i remember a graph question and a math question uh and like two easy questions as well so goldman sachs has three rounds all are conducted in a single day and like interview is mostly towards medium side in goldman sachs uh in saver uh, uh i remember the interview was pretty good uh, like it it's a de- really decent level like bfs back tracking level question so okay. it was pretty good interview uh in infocus uh, that's the most difficult company that i faced uh, they asked me about revin car uh convex hull and all the topics like they really want to check because they know i have weak uh, my projects are little towards weaker side so i told like i i, I did good in dsa so they were like okay let's check it and like they really got me on those like segmentees and all okay so yeah so all right so i think uh, it is uh, uh, correct to say if you are going for an interview and you would say okay my data structures are very strong so you should expect that you would be asked uh, topics which are related to competitive programming and if you say mere projects acche kaise hain so they would ask basic data structures and they would uh, uh, grill you on your projects i guess exactly yeah. because uh, our resume will be totally towards the things which we are strong about yeah. so like resume mein agar cheeze hi mostly related hongi to they will ask about that only so yeah exactly that. and and there is one very important uh, uh, thing which is uh, I mean, mostly the doubt of many students. There are certain non-coding subjects such as uh, uh, operating system, DVMs, and computer networks. How much weightage do you think these companies give to these particular subjects? Or do you think नहीं ये तो पूछा ही नहीं आपसे या फिर friends से पूछा हो might be. So like uh, in my case, uh, only Amazon didn't ask me about these subjects. Okay. Like Goldman Sachs. I remember uh, 30 minutes in my interview gave me on OS scheduling questions only okay. uh, basically uh, saver also asked me questions on dbms like uh, i don't remember the exact topics but they asked me in every single topic in computer networks in dbms uh, in os as well okay. so yeah like this uh, like when should have a like decent level knowledge of these subjects as well all right all right, all right. Yeah. so and uh, there is one more thing which is going on right now which is called a system design and low level design do you uh, have have you ever faced questions related to this particular system design low uh, low level design so i have never okay. but uh, i have my i have like heard from my friends like they were asked system design questions in like google one of them got uh, got a interview at bloomberg london and he clear and she cleared it as well okay. so she was a system design there so like uh, uh, like system design like most of the companies don't ask but some companies like they, uh, they really want you to have some good skills as well in system design as well yeah. uh, there is one thing because you have prepared for all these organizations uh, like jab bhi koi question karne jaate ho to it's not mandatory that you know the solution to every question that you see and of course when you are tackling some question that you don't know people tend to team uh, waste a lot of time maybe 2 se 3 ghante laga diye 4 ghante laga diye pure din ke so what was your strategy when you were preparing koi question aaya jo nahi pata so how you dealt with it so uh like uh yeah actually they everyone follow a different strategy for this okay. uh, because my friends follow a different strategy but what i used to do is ki main question ko hardly 30 minutes se upar nahi deta hmm. 30 minutes is the max time like because i know there are ample of questions from which i can practice okay i know i like me koi question mila mujhe pata hai ki mujhe isme kuch strike nahi kar raha maine 30 minutes de diye and it's more than enough Haan. so what i will do is i will just go through the hints of this question hints dekh ke bhi agar kuch strike nahi kar raha so like there can be a chance ki main kabhi is topic ko padha hi nahi hai hmm. so what i do i just go through the topic main us topic ko youtube pe search kar leta hu ya kahi bhi net pe wikis pe mil jata hai jaise cpl algorithms ho gaya उसको समझा उस क्वेश्चन को बुक मार्क कर लेता हूँ मतलब उसको बैकलॉग में डाल लेता हूँ कि मुझे इसको एक या दो विवाद वापस से करना है ताकि मुझे सॉल्यूशन याद ना हो बट मेरे को अप्रोच याद मतलब मुझे कॉन्सेप्ट पता हो या एक या दो वीक या वन मंथ पर एंड ऑफ लाइक दिस यू डेट दैट पर्टिकुलर वे एंड अनदर थिंग विच इज कमिंग टू माई माइंड राइट नाउ जैसे अब ये अब पूरे प्रिपरेशन वाली चीजें कर रहे थे तो हाउ मच डू यू थिंक जो हमारे टाइम बाउंडेड कॉन्टेस्ट होते हैं उनको देना इज कितना ज्यादा जरूरी या यू फील कि नहीं यार बस क्वेश्चन की प्रैक्टिस करते रहो दैट्स मोर देन कभी आप क्योंकि आपने बोला कि आपने कॉन्टेस्ट बहुत सारे दिए 
एंड यू यूज टू सी की क्या रैंकिंग आ रही है कितना अच्छा आप परफॉर्म कर रहे हो हाउ डू यू थिंक मतलब उससे कितनी ज्यादा हेल्प हुई आई थिंक दैट्स द मोस्ट क्रूशियल पार्ट रीजन बीइंग बिकॉज़ कंपनीज किसी भी कंपनी का सबसे पहला राउंड ही ओए होता है एंड दे आर टाइम बाउंड एंड लाइक द थिंग इज की जब कॉन्टेस्ट है तो प्रेशर नहीं होता कि रैंक खराब सिर्फ रैंक ही तो खराब आएगी बट जब कंपनी का ओए होता है तो प्रेशर रहता है कि यार कंपनी छूट जाएगी एंड द थिंग इज की जब कॉन्टेस्ट देते हैं ना तो धीरे धीरे प्रेशर कम हो जाता लग जाता है क्योंकि अपन को लाइक कम से कम टाइम में क्वेश्चन करने सॉल्व करने की आदत हो जाती है सो लाइक कॉन्टेस्ट द मोस्ट क्वेश्चन पार्ट दैट आई वुड से and uh, yeah. one more thing that uh, because see the contest of course they would be the upper hand on it so jaise aapne coding logs ka bhi course kiya tha and uh, uske baad aap interviews mein bhi baithe the so how much do you think ki coding logs ke course ne aapko benefit kiya in terms of the interviews or the placement drives that you went through so the thing is ki jab maine coding se chalu kiya tha to mujhe coding ka cv nahi aata tha hmm. like really i was very bad so The thing was कि coding logs का जो course था C++ प्लस प्लस लॉन्च पैड इट वॉज लाइक फ्रॉम जीरो लाइक एनी बिगिनर कैन इजिली अंडरस्टैंड दैट सो एंड द थिंग वॉज की इट रियली गॉड ऑल ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट टू गेट यू रनिंग लाइक द थिंग इज की कोई भी कोर्स आपको कम्प्लीटली तैयार नहीं कर सकता किसी भी चीज के लिए लाइक लेकिन वो आपको इस लेवल तक ला सकता है कि उसके बाद आपको अपने एफर्ट्स डालोगे तो आप कुछ अचीव कर सकते हो एंड द थिंग वॉज की लाइक कोडिंग वॉज रियली हेल्प मी गेट गुड विद माई लाइक सी प्लस प्लस सो आई रिमेंबर लाइक it give me enough uh, understanding of oops and c++ and like basic understanding of dsa so that i can get easily started with the contest and like my interview stuff and jo companies ke andar typically jo questions the do you feel ki acha agar koi banda agar acche se course karta hai to he would be able to crack it of course matlab agar aap cp ki practice kar rahe ho that is going to give you a upper hand for sure but what do you think on us terms mein course se related so i think the our like uh, the course um, I, i suggested my friend the interview interview preparation course like that coding logs have so the thing is ki usme kafi questions aise hain jo like thing is ki in most of the interviewers industry mein aane ke baad dsa chhod dete hain to sab log standard questions follow karte hain most of the interviews jo maine bhi dekha hai so agar like thing is ki har kisi ke paas 2 uh, saal ya 1.5 saal nahi hota kai log late bhi chalu karte hain so in case if you have little bit time, like less time na so i think that's the best thing to go to so on wo interview preparation jo apne course hai like usme jo questions hai that i know because i go through with them as well uh, so i know like they are good to like if you have little bit like if you have less time na so like they are the go to thing i would say yeah so uh, so the, the next thing that i would say is matlab jaise ab aap matlab amazon kar kar rahe ho intern and goldman mein you have cracked it so any last piece of advice for the students that you would give them jo matlab prepare kar rahe hain jinka aim hai ki mereko jana hai ek achhi company mein jahan pe mera package lage 20 se 30 lakh se upar ka what would be the advice that you would get, give to them because you have gone through a lot and kuch bhi nahi aata tha aapko then you have reached this level yeah so i would say ki like uh, the sooner you start the better like uh, fun is important but the thing is ki competition is really tough these days hmm. uh so that's one thing uh, the other thing is ki like being a part of a community is really helpful so like if you have a really good friend circle jo ki kafi acche coding mein so aapko bhi kafi help milegi wo aap logo ko bhi apni taraf khichenge like coding mein acha karenge aur aap log unko aage track karoge hmm. so that's second thing that's very important uh yeah that i would say okay so thank you so much ayush for enlightening the students and uh, helping them know what exactly the interviews are all about and how they can get better uh in becoming a better developer or i would say getting top sd roles in the top companies so congratulations again and thank you so much for coming to the youtube channel yeah thanks a lot i really enjoyed my session